what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to share my tattoo collection with you guys. And I kind of thought to do this because recently I've gotten a few new tattoos and I love tattoos. I love watching tattoo tags or tattoo videos um, or collection videos. So I kind of wanted to share with you guys my tattoos. And I want to kind of put a disclaimer like, if you don't like my tattoos, that is perfectly fine. I realize I'm putting them on the internet and you can talk shit about them if you want. But, you know, art is subjective. Art is, you know, you know, not everyone likes the same art, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, these are the pieces that I chose to put on my body. And if you don't like them, that's fine. But, like, I don't really care. So if you want to talk shit, you can. If not, that's cool. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to share here with you guys, you know, my tattoos and... Uh, I kind of want to explain why I got it, you know, why I got it where I did, and if it has any meaning or not, because some of mine do and some of mine don't. So if you guys want to watch that, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first tattoo that I ever got was this one on my foot, and it has no meaning. It literally doesn't. I was 16, um, my mom had to sign for it, I just wanted a tattoo, and that's what I wanted. Uh, it says live free if you can't tell, and there is a little bird at the end kind of like flying away, classic white girl little bird tattoo. And actually if you look close you can kind of see there's a part of the bird missing, it looks like it got shot. Um, the ink just fell out, it didn't heal properly, I was 16, had no idea what I was doing, and it kind of fell out, the ink just fell out. So that was my first tattoo ever, I believe I paid, I think that one was 60 bucks. I'm not in love with it, it's not the greatest. Am I gonna cover it up? No, because it's my first tattoo and that like just means something to me. So I'm not gonna cover up, but you know, it's definitely not my favorite tattoo ever, but that's the story on my first tattoo. So my second tattoo is actually on my back and it goes kind of down my spine. It says family, so it's a, a vintage like skeleton key, it says family. And I hate this one. I'll be honest, like, you know, you can admit when you don't like your own tattoo. I do not like this one. I don't like who did it. It bled really bad. It never healed properly. It just looks kind of way too thick. It's not, it's not what I wanted. I would totally get the exact same tattoo done by a different artist. Um, I just hate who did it. I hate how he did it. And that was my own naive fault. I believe maybe I was... 17 when I got this done. I he did like my mom didn't have to sign for it. He was kind of sketchy like it was whatever It's not my favorite Don't love it, but I have it on me I would love one day to do like a, a big back piece like shoulder blade to shoulder blade Ah, I would love that probably not gonna happen because uh, It just probably won't but I would like maybe one day to cover it up But that's that I believe again. I paid 60 bucks something like that. It took 20 minutes and it fucking hurt. I cried. It bled really bad. It just wasn't done properly, which, you know, my own fault, but so that is my second tattoo. So my third tattoo is actually my first real tattoo, I would like to call it. Um, it's very big. It's very bold. Um, a lot of color. It's a real tattoo, I would say. The other two were kind of like that, you know, that slow step into like hardcore tattooing and this was my first real tattoo it's this beautiful rose on my foot it's done in purple it is actually a cover-up and I was supposed to go back and get it like retouched and stuff but I'm a little bitch if any of you have got your foot tattooed before you know it is no fucking joke it is the worst thing in the world and he did three and a half hours on that tattoo and I almost died it was so bad that was like my first real tattoo and I was I moved you and I was stupid enough to get it on my foot <laughs> my bad anyways I do love this tattoo I love the way that it's done I'm so happy with it it actually covered up my real third tattoo second tattoo it actually covered up that one and it was done by the same guy that did the key on my back um, it was a cute little teacup and me and my mom and my sister actually got the same and I just decided I wanted to be a little different and I got roses which a rose I mean, if you look at it quickly, kind of looks like a cabbage, but these looked like cabbages. I'll try to insert a picture if I can find one. I tried to erase that tattoo from my memory, but I'll try to insert a picture if I can find it. They really, really looked like cabbages. He didn't add leaves or anything. It just looked really bad, and I wasn't happy with it. The teacup was okay, like I would have left it if that was all that I got, but 
I didn't, I wanted to be different and that didn't turn out well. So I did end up getting it covered up. This tattoo ended up costing me, I believe it was $4.50. I can't remember if that was with a tip or not. It might have costed me five with a tip. Anyways, I love it, it's great. And um, Mikey did this tattoo and he actually has a shop now in St. Thomas he just opened up. So he's there now. I think he just opened it with some new people, but Mikey did that. He was at Golden Axe at the time, but now he's at Golden Clover, I believe. So Mikey did that one, and I'm a little bitch and haven't gone back to fix it because I'm scared. And that's been like four years. But I do love it, and the placement for that one was honestly because I wanted to cover the other one. That's it. And he did a great job. I'm really happy with it. I'm just so freaking scared to go back and get it finished. If you look hard, you can still see like the cover up underneath, but I don't care. I'm too scared. I'm super scared, okay. And yes, I have paint on my foot. I've been painting, okay? So ignore that. Okay, so my next tattoos I got all at the same time. They are, I guess I'll start with the one behind my ear. So the one behind my ear um, is a little tiny L and the person that did them was the person that did them was Mikey um, again when he was at Golden Axe uh, and I love these tattoos as well so the first one is a little tiny owl and it's behind my ear and that is for my sister Lauren so my mom and dad actually had a daughter before me and my sister I was eight months pregnant when she passed and um, so my mom fully had to deliver her um, everything like that and her name was Lauren so that's why I have an owl behind my ear um, just in memory of her and I love that tattoo. It means so much. You know, I get actually a lot of questions about it and I do love that one a lot. That's like probably one of my tattoos that have the most meaning and I love that one. So the next one that I got done at the same time, I got these three small tattoos done at the same time. And the next one I got is this little arrow on my ankle, inner ankle, I guess. And I got that one because I'm obsessed with The Walking Dead. At the time I was, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't really watch it now, but that's what happens with tattoos. Do I care? Not really. So I got it because I'm in love with Daryl Dixon, and if anybody knows, he shoots a bow and arrow, a crossbow, whatever. Literally, that's the meaning of that tattoo. I got it there because I just did. I have no real reason for that. I just did. And then the third one I got on the same day was on the back of my neck, and it's a 16 in Ru Roman new what? It's a 16 in Roman numerals, and the reason I got that one was because that is the year, 2016, that Leonardo DiCaprio won his Oscar, and I always said, when he finally wins an Oscar, I'm getting a tattoo to commemorate it, and I did. And it's a cute little 16. I get a lot of questions about that one. They're like, why is there a 16? Did you get that when you were 16? Like, what? And I'm like, Leonardo DiCaprio won an Oscar, okay? And then they all judge me for it, but I don't even care. I love that one again. It's probably, again, one of my favorite tattoos that I have, just because it has meaning and it's funny as shit. And that's that. I ended up paying, it might have been 160 or 180 for all three of these. I got them done the same day. There's like a shop minimum, so they're very small, but I think maybe it's, I can't remember. So the next tattoo that I got is this one on the back of my arm, and it's a little hand holding flowers. And I got this one for no other reason than it was a flash tattoo day, and I really liked it. It was like a florally kind of flash tattoo day, and I really liked it. And um, I believe her name's Corinna, and she is at Red Door Tattoo. I believe. I'm not really sure where she is right now, but that's where she was when I got this tattoo. It was just kind of walk in, look at the book, pick what you want. Um, I believe this one was $100. might have been $150. It was like something like that. It was between that price range. And you just walk in, get it done, pay your bill, get out, and it's just a flash day. I love flash tattoo days. Um, and that's actually the only one that I have that's a flash tattoo day one. But I do love this one. Super cute. There's no meaning for it. I liked it. Thought it was cute. That's it. I don't know what number tattoo we're on, and I actually lied. This was not my next tattoo. This was my next tattoo. So the one on my arm was my next tattoo. I'm all super confused. I can't, it's all just one ball now of tattoos. Like, I don't even remember when I got them. So actually, before the one on the back of my arm, I got this one, and it's a globe with a rose. I love this tattoo, and I get a lot of questions like as to why Africa's showing, and that's kind of why I got this tattoo. I went on a trip to Morocco in 2016, 2017, beginning of 2017. Yeah. 
sure. Sometime. I believe it was the beginning of 2017, and I wanted a tattoo to kind of like commemor commemorate. Is that a word? I don't know. Remember it by. I loved it there. It was so amazing. It was honestly life changing. It was so awesome. And I just wanted a tattoo to kind of remind me of that. So when I looked down, I'm like, fuck yeah, I went to Morocco and it was an awesome trip. That's literally why I got it. And I got this one, I believe it was $4.50 um, before the tip. Uh, I can't remember. I ended up paying between $4.50 and $500. And I got it done by Steve and he was at the time at Red Door Tattoo. He's not anymore. He's opened his own shop now. I'll link like everybody's Instagram down below if you guys want to kind of check him out or if you live near my area and you're interested in getting one. I got this one from Steve and I fucking love it. I'm super excited. It's super great. I'm so happy with it. I got this one a few years ago. It's just great. I just love it. And I think that's all I want to say about it. It's just great and I love it. And this one, again, is one of those that have meaning. Not all of them do, but that one does. Okay. It hurt. They all hurt. Everyone's like, did it hurt? Yeah, it fucking hurt. I'm getting a tattoo. Can I deal with the pain? Yes. But it fucking hurt, okay? So the next tattoo that I got, the next three are actually done by the same girl. Um, her name's Charlotte, and she works at John Street Tattoo in Hamilton. And I freaking love her, she's so great. Yeah, so I'll show you the first one that I got. It's this teacup with a bunch of flowers. And again, as you can tell, the teacup theme, I got it because I actually got the one on my foot covered up, and I still wanted one. Like, it's not that I don't, didn't want these tattoos that I covered up or whatever, it's just that I don't like how they were done. So I did get it redone um, and she did it awesome. I'm so in love with this. I actually just got this one um, maybe a month or two ago. I'm not really sure, it wasn't that long ago. A month? And this tattoo took about three and a half hours. Three, three and a half, I can't remember. And I love this tattoo. Yeah, it costed about 350 and it's just great. That's why I got it, that's why, you know. And I put it here because I do eventually kind of was hoping to get a sleeve, so I just started filling her in. You know, you know how it goes, right? Am I right? And so the next one that I got, again, I got these ones at the exact same time, just because Hamilton is about an hour and a half away from where I live. You know, I kind of was like, can we get them done at the same time kind of thing? And she was super good about it. She was like, absolutely. So the next one that I got, um, the next two I got on the same day, are this one here. It's a cute little envelope tattoo. It just says, with love, and it's got the same kind of flower she tied it in with the teacup above. And oh, I love this one. This one kind of has meaning. I really just kind of liked it anyway, and then it, it brought me back. As soon as I looked at it, I was like, oh, um, I had a, a nan, we called her Funny Nanny, I don't know why, she was funny, that's just what we called her, and she lived in England, so it's my grandmother's mom, so my great grandma, my Funny Nanny, and we ended up all the time when we were younger writing notes to each other and, and sending them across the ocean, and, and like we don't always do that, we would send pictures, we would send letters, it was so much fun, and I just remember loving doing that, and especially when she got older and couldn't travel to Canada anymore. Yeah, it was just a lot of fun, and so that's kind of why I like that one a lot. Um, it just reminds me of her when I look at it, and it's just great. I love it. Um, the other one that I got is this bee on my wrist, and it's got some greenery around it. There is no meaning behind this one. I just got it, and there's, yeah, literally no meaning. I just liked it. I like a bee tattoo. I like greenery. It's a space filler. I really like it. It's super cute. That's where I got it. And for these two, oh shit, I'm really bad at this. I think it was like 600 bucks for both of these, I believe, and they both took together, I think it was like three hours, three and a half hours. It wasn't bad at all. And I did forget to mention, there is a meaning behind the teacup tattoo. My mom and my grandma, my grandpa, that side of my family are actually from England. And growing up, if we were happy, if we were sad, if we were literally any meal, we would have a tea. So to me, it just has a lot of meaning. It reminds me of my childhood, reminds me of my heritage. I just love it. So that's the meaning of that one. Totally forgot to tell you that, okay? Anyways, guys, I think that's all the tattoos that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do plan on getting more. Like I said, I would love to do like a full sleeve. I do have some other tattoo ideas. Maybe I could kind of share those in a different video if you're interested. And I do plan on getting some on my legs. I really, I love the look of leg tattoos. And again, I have some ideas for those, but as for now, I'm kind of chilling out. I've started 
kind of um, finishing this one, this arm here, and there is a little gap filler, and I've got a couple ideas for that one as well. I'm not too sure yet, but yeah, I just need a little bit to fill in here, and that pretty much finishes the bottom. Anyways, like I said, I could talk about tattoos all day. Oh my god, I could talk about tattoos all freaking day. All day. But I won't, because then y'all will hate me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next one, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Okay? Bye.